5C, REZ 2015-11, The Orchard at Stone Creek. This is at Tillman Crossing Road. It's a request for R10 to PD non-residential. Mr. Davenport. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, the request in this case for PD non-residential is actually tied to a site plan. Um, that site plan that I have before you, I'm going to show you a current copy on the screen, is for what we are, we are calling really an assisted living facility. I know the applicants and their agents are here and they will probably flesh that concept out for you, but otherwise that is what is being asked of tonight is to rezone that 24 acres for this style type of development that we have a concept plan here for. I can tell you since the work session yesterday, we have received an updated site plan with four changes. You should have physical copies before you tonight. The four changes are the address change in the upper right hand corner. Um, the applicants have purchased the property and that now reflects their home address rather than Ms. Devine's. The second change is the developer's former address was a Miami address and now he has moved to Hihira so that change is reflected. And the two most important changes are staff went back to the applicants as a result of what the Planning Commission lifted up at their meeting and really renegotiated the first two notes to try to be more specific on the proposed use or uses. And so we did that with the applicant's help, with their engineer's help. And so those are the reasons for the changes. We felt like the updated notes would be better and more reflective of what they were proposing while allowing for um, some regulations to show where that started and stopped as far as the proposed uses. I can detail those out if you'd like. But beyond that site plan, we've also worked on language on a couple of the conditions if you'd like to use those as well. Beyond that, those are the only updates I have since yesterday, the main one being the site plan. Otherwise, we're still at a recommendation of approval. You have approval from staff, along with approval with five conditions from the Planning Commission, but mind you, the site plan's been updated. So from a staff standpoint, I would just ask that if you consider approval tonight, you approve the updated site plan. Beyond that, I don't have anything else. Be happy to try to entertain any questions you might have. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Davenport. Are there any questions for Mr. Davenport? Yes, Jason. Um, <clears throat> I attended the planning commission meeting too, and um, it seemed to be that the the usage was one of the points of concern. And now you have that spelled out on this new site plan that we will be ultimately approving I'm assuming um, can you elaborate a little bit on on sure the protection of that type usage which would, would still leaving the applicant with the flexibility to do what they need to do here um, yes sir plan development allows you um, a healthy amount of flexibility for what uses are allowed the Planning Commission lifted up a use that was really more um, like psychiatric care almost like a psychiatric hospital and to me, and, and Ms. Carmelo predominantly, we felt like there was a gray area where we would be comfortable making an interpretation <clears throat> that that use was not allowed. But should another developer enter this situation or one of us not be here, there was a gray area. So we use that as an opportunity to, to address the uses. And what we've done is that first note talks about this being an assisted living facility. Other uses, which we would also support, are really for the elderly. They may include independent living, personal care, and memory care, or Alzheimer's type care. Um, we limit the number of independent living units to 32 out of the 96. And then we say something like a licensed psychiatric inpatient hospitals, that's just not allowed. Um, because we can't, we realize from past experience, we're not gonna be able to think of everything. The second note says, if there's an accessory use or something that we're not thinking of for an accessory to those primary uses, we'll use our OI standards, which is a general zoning classification for office institutional. So we believe that these notes better capture the intent of the site plan, giving the applicant some flexibility, but also building in some protections on some uses that, I'll be honest, they agreed were just not appropriate. And so that is the major change we would offer tonight, which is why we are bringing that to you with an updated site plan rather than a condition. One more question, Mr. Chairman, for Jason. Yes, sir. Um, condition number three is there be established and maintain a 40 foot vegetation vegetative buffer mm -hmm. um, from the that came from the Planning Commission mm -hmm. um, the ULDC requires what 40 feet um, a, a 20 foot setback mm -hmm. 
30 foot setback from the from the road from Tillman crossing right yes sir there's a there's a setback required we have a condition on the site plan that addresses a very healthy buffer along Tillman crossing but we haven't required anything beyond that but the basic standards are a 30 foot setback the Planning Commission wanted to go beyond that um, I can tell you the applicants are not in favor of that and staff is is not recommending that condition either well, here's what I'm getting to. There's already a vegetative buffer there. Yes, I mean, sir. it's healthy. We, we all agree. Um, condition number five, mm -hmm. not to jump ahead, but we talk about requiring decorative fencing. Mm -hmm. um, my concern with that would be that we're going we're gonna to tear down or destroy vegetation that's already there that, that looks good and that can obviously look better, but only to put in a decorative fence. I just... Yes, sir. We... We considered that. Um, I think the Planning Commission, you know, you were there. They were making an effort to kind of go above and beyond because they were concerned about, um, I think, this blending in with the area. But from a staff standpoint, you know, we, we can make those conditions stronger if the Commission wants to go that direction. But otherwise, we, we think the site plan alone and the language on that site plan, note number, th uh, let's see, note number six which addresses the existing buffer along Tillman was enough for us. And so you do have some disagreement and conflict between the Planning Commission and staff to, to sort out tonight. Yes, sir. I have a question. Um, so we're being asked to adopt the site plan um, itself or, um, or just the item perhaps with no conditions what, what what is the question I think what staff has said TRC has said that they're proposing we adopt the the, the, pl the site plan as presented and the Planning Commission was asking for the site plan with the attached conditions okay. yes any sir. other questions yes sir well, commercial use can we clarify that on on the site plan mm -hmm. it shows commercial use up front I mean we're not gonna we're not at risk of, of a convenience store going <laughs> out there right <laughs> no sir um, we did that because the way PDs are set up they make you have a certain amount of space for open space or public space commercial use is just what they classify the assisted living use space as and so if you look on the right-hand side of that site plan, it'll see different percentages for how much open space it has and how much civic public open space, et cetera. So those percentages are just, the engineer is just showing us where they classified that space. So no, they're not trying to um, sneak in an advertisement for um, a commercial use. They're just telling staff, this is how we cut those spaces up. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you, Joyce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hearing none now, we'll turn it over and go move to the uh, public participation portion. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Anyone that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Hearing none, is there anyone that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. I'm Martha McGill, and I reside on the property that we're discussing tonight at 4872 Tillman Crossing, Hayhira. Um, my husband and I are Georgia residents. We're from this area, and we've returned to this area to build the assisted living community that we discussed. In terms of um, each of the five conditions that were previously mentioned, I want to just touch on each of those very briefly. And with regards to ingress and egress, um, we intend to maintain a gate at the western entrance of the property. And um, we would like to suggest that the entry um, or ingress and egress be located as designed um, as what you see before you. In terms of the uses, um, as we just heard, um, our intended uses are assisted living, personal care, memory care, and some portion possibly of independent living. With regards to the buffer that we discussed a moment ago, um, we would like to suggest the buffer be consistent with ULDC and, and not anything in addition to that. Um, with regards to lighting, there was a recommendation that the lighting be directed downward and inward, and we're certainly um, feel that that's appropriate and we'll coordinate the lighting with our power company to make sure that that is um, achieved. 
in terms of fencing. Um, I would like to reassure the, the um, commission that we'll provide fencing that's consistent with licensure and patient safety, which in some instances may be very specific. Um, with regards to these conditions that came forward from the planning committee, I would like to state that if the uses and um, the buffer can't be um, as, as I've discussed, then we would like to withdraw our request to rezone. So those are very important to us to make sure the um, assisted living facility is able to be built in a manner that it can be operated successfully. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Um, Mr. Chairman, I had a question. For, yes, sir. Just regarding the timeline of uh, of if approved tonight. If you don't mind, hold that one second. Let me get through with the rest of the public participation portion, then we'll come back to the commissioners. Okay. Your questions. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this request? Okay, hearing none, we'll now close the public participation portion of it and now turn it over to the commissioners for discussion. I just wanted to know the, the timeline. I know we, we have uh, committed to an improvement at the intersection of Tillman and 41. I wanted to know the timeline of the possible development if, if approved tonight. Well, that was a question then from Ms. McDill. Yeah, from Ms. McDill. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it. Okay, just someone, if you want to answer the question, please come forward and again state your name and address for the record if it's a new speaker. My name is Bill Kent. I'm with Innovate Engineering, 2214 North Patterson Street. Uh, I'll be the uh, civil engineer on the project. If this is approved tonight, we plan to begin uh, surveys tomorrow. And we expect to be through the uh, permitting process by the end of summer, possibly breaking ground in, in September, if our county engineer will work with us. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank Thanks, sir. <clears throat> Commissioners, any other discussion? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, um, I move that we approve the uh, applicant's res request based on the um, the latest site plan with the inclusion um, of condition number one and condition number four. Okay. We have a motion on the floor to approve the request with the PD site plan that has been presented with conditions number one and condition number four. Do I have a second? Second. We have a second. Is there any discussion on the motion? Do we really need to have condition number one on there? The gate? I mean, I'm, I'm just asking. Is that? Mr. Chairman, may I amend my motion? <laughs> it's your motion. <laughs> yes, <sir>. <laughs> then <clears throat> I'm in based on the approved site plan and condition number four only. Okay. The amended motion now would be to approve the site plan with condition number four only. Correct. Do we have a second for that? We do. Any other discussion? Okay. Hearing none, I'll call the vote. Aye. <laughs> Everybody else. All in favor. All in favor. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries. Okay, now we'll move on to agenda item.